What we do is bring life to urban structures, such as the wall behind me. Um, very exciting, very dynamic looking uh, installations, and we love every minute of it. So green walls are, are fantastic. They're increasing in popularity greatly, and while they're on the wall, they have great environmental benefits. Um, but there's also negative environmental impacts of manufacturing the polypropylene sheet and steel stainless steel components that the, the product's made out of. And I've been working out exactly what those impacts are and how, the, how they can be reduced. So behind living walls are plastic panels designed by tree pots, which are manufactured by Blyby Plastics, with all of the offcuts being recycled by regranulation, repelletizing, and then being extruded back into sheet material. The final easy walls are sent to site location for the next living wall installation. Help, by helping the environment we're, 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 we're affecting well-being positively because it looks nice, it's, you know, there's the aesthetic side of it, but there's, you know, there's the biodiversity side of it, there's, uh, there's the sustainable urban drainage side of it. Um, and that's a story actually that's been quite interesting because we started off with a much smaller percentage of our budget going into environmental projects and now it's a much larger percentage, which has surprised me. Uh, I think primarily plays out in terms of the aesthetics and in terms of that image perception thing. Yeah. But actually once they like what they see, then they start to love it and then they start to care about it and then they start to understand it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Now I'm starting to dream that. <laughs> the building has some wall space, that would be really nice. But actually I think it would be most interesting if you could convince the estate office that some of the facade of the buildings would be very fit for that. I'm not sure the listed uh, stuff, but it would definitely be good for the space. And it, there are these pockets of green at the estate that people really, really love. Once installed, Treebox offer a maintenance service, which is a conditional part of their guarantee. To incentivise the recovery of green walls at the end of their 10-year guarantee, Treebox offer an uninstallation service and a discount on new installations. So we're not just looking at uh, how the product is assembled and making that as easy as possible and improving the performance of the product in use, we're also designing for disassembly in order to facilitate at a business model where we can recover the products at the end of life and make sure that we do that as efficiently as possible. When we can recover 20 tonnes of polypropylene from the green walls, we clean them and then we send them back to the manufacturer. And we can close the loop on materials that we've used. By switching to a 100% recycled product, we can reduce the overall impacts by 47% and the carbon footprint from 32 kilos down to 20 kilos. So that's 41% reduction in the carbon footprint of the product. Um, I suppose a lot of this in terms of sustainability, we're sort of, you know, we're, we're, we're sort of enthusiasts, we're not experts, and we're sort of, you know, if somebody comes along and tells us something like that, we go, oh, okay, actually, you know, we haven't thought about that, yeah. but that's an extra thing to think about now. Yeah. Um, so that's sort of where we are. Right. And then, yes, I said, all things being equal, that, that puts you higher up the, the pecking order than any competitors. But it doesn't stop there. We're looking at ways to reuse Treebox products to support social ventures that help young people find careers in urban growing. Lots of fun's going to come out of it. Yeah. Um, also, we've been, we'll be able to grow those plants, hopefully, that we can sell to Treebox, which are real life, which will um, help Little Bit London make some money. Um, thirdly, we can introduce our trainees to another form of cultivation, um, such as green wall cultivation, which is really good. They like them. I don't teach them that, I only teach them the basics. I, I actually run a nursery and I produce products and I do that the simplest way possible. So if we can teach them how to use the system, how to work the system, how to build the system, we can have them fully trained on the system and then they might be employable within Treebox to actually do the work. So that's the big picture, but we're still looking to grow the system and solve more challenges in the future. The information we've gained through this whole research process has been invaluable. Just learning how people have been interacting with our panels, uh, learning how uh, the potential, where the potential lies to improve the design of our panels, uh, particularly from a circular economy point of view of how, how much can be recycled and how it can best be recycled. That actually is playing a large part into how we design the product and more importantly the service behind the product. Mm -hmm.